hello good people welcome to my youtube channel today i'm super excited because i see the number of subscribers keeps increasing and increasing thank you so much for choosing to walk this journey with me if you're seeing me for the first time my name is Tariro rachel i like to talk about study opportunities and scholarships studying abroad sometimes gender issues and lifestyle and anything that I find interesting, I share it on this channel. So please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. So to jump quickly into today's video, I would like to talk about nine ways to win the Erasmus Mundus Scholarship. So please stay tuned. So a couple of days ago, I did a video about the Erasmus Mundus degree programs. So I would encourage you to watch that video first before jumping into this one, because on this one, I'm going to be very brief and quick just to show you the steps that you need to follow to apply for Erasmus Mundus. Number one, go on Google and type Erasmus Mundus catalog. It will take you directly to the European Commission website on that catalog you will see there are 192 programs that are there and there are 20 pages so if you are patient go page by page right and look for the program that matches your interest if you really know what you want then you can use the filter search where you can type in the program that you want or the countries that you want to study in or the year that you want to to do the application but i encourage you to do page by page because some programs have unique names but once you read the description you realize i really like this program so that's the first tip number two select at least three programs of interest to you but if you are really really intentional just pick one that's what i did i selected just one because i was very intentional and confident about my search so i encourage you to look for three at least three because you are allowed to apply for at least three programs or three scholarships under Erasmus Mundus. Number three, once you've identified the programs that you want, click on each of them to familiarize with the program. Sometimes we see these catchy titles and then you get in the contents, you realize mm, this is not for me. So take time to go through each program that you've selected to understand what is it all about. When I finish, what are the future career prospects? something around that familiarize with the program that you intend to apply for number four go straight to the coordinating institution like i mentioned in the previous video that erasmus mundas are joint master's degrees meaning they are different institutions or universities that are participating in that program identify which university is the coordinating institution then you visit the coordinating institution uh the website could be on the catalog or you can actually type on google for the website of that university or institution then you search the program that you intend to apply for on the coordinating institution platform however like i told you there are different programs under erasmus munda so for some uh, programs you apply to the university for some programs you apply to the consortium so it's all different but my point is once you are on the program you will see what you need to do either to go straight to the coordinating institution or just click apply if the link is available yeah? number five once you're on the respective website see the requirements for that program and gather the supporting documents those requirements may include your uh, bachelor's degree transcript the certificate your cv your motivational letter your references your uh, english test certificate see what is required of you and gather the documents that are needed for you to proceed with your application number six once you've gathered all your supporting documents, start the application process. Don't wait to do this last minute. Anything can happen. So the earlier, the better. Number seven, whilst you're doing the application process, reach out to people who have done this process before you. Ask them how did they do it? They are, uh, how did they write their CVs, their motivational letters or cover letters? Just ask anything that you want to know about this process. It will give you ideas on how to put your application in place or in order. So number eight, I believe you've already submitted your application with 
all the supporting documents that are needed now we wait for feedback however for some programs they may reach out for an in for an interview others a test in some programs nothing at all for example um europe public health where i participated in nothing it was just um, an email that came to say you have been selected so if you know the program is interviews start preparing for that interview hey believe in yourself this might be coming your way so prepare for the interview prepare for the test whatever it is let it find you prepared yeah and here's number nine please consider liking this video sharing it with your friends and colleagues leaving a comment in the comment section and above all if you have not yet subscribed please consider subscribing the more you like comment share and subscribe is the more i get the motivation to want to do more videos for you guys so please don't hesitate to ask any questions in the comment section i'll be really really excited to respond to you thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video and i wish you the best if you intend to apply for Erasmus Mundus degree programs, bye for now.